Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a book review for you guys. I'm just gonna basically go about each book I've read in 2023 and rate it on a scale from one to 10 and tell you guys if I recommend them or not. FYI, there's a lot of Colleen Hoover books, so like a majority of them are Colleen Hoover. So um, if you don't really like her books, then this is probably not the video for you, but I really like her as an author. I really enjoy her books, so yeah. I'm also not gonna give any spoilers away. I don't wanna ruin the books for you guys, so I'm basically just gonna recommend them and rate them and kind of vaguely talk about them. So there's no spoilers ahead, so don't worry about that. But yeah, let's just jump right in. Okay, so the first book I really wanted to talk about is Verity. Verity, I wanted to start strong because Verity is one of my favorite books I've read, like in general. It's a like romantic thriller and this was also the first thriller I've ever read, like a scary book. I was really in the mood for that, so really, really good. I really love this book a lot. I think it's the perfect amount of scariness and the perfect amount of like romance and I genuinely got scared when I read this book and I think that's the point of it so it did its job. I would rate Verity a 9 out of 10. I think I just docked off one point because it ended not abruptly. I just kind of wish there was maybe a second book to this because I think it could just go way more in depth with like the way it ended I guess. Um, but I really really liked it. There's also an extra chapter that I saw on TikTok that um, kind of explains what I just said like kind of how it's like the it blog basically and uh, I really liked that extra chapter. I really wish she included it in this book because that would have ended it I think in a really great way. I just look up on TikTok the extra chapter of Verity and you'll find it but make sure you read it after you've already read the book because it's the it blog. So yeah, nine out of 10. Okay, so the next set of books I'm gonna talk about are kind of the, are the books that really encouraged me to keep reading. It's the first Colleen Hoover I've ever read and I think it's the first Colleen Hoover book a lot of people read, which is It Ends With Us. <laughs> I hear a lot of mixed reviews, like the majority of people really like this book, but I think a lot of people when it got the hype um, was just kind of like, oh, this is really overrated. I don't think it's overrated at all. I think it's really good. I love the romance. I love the characters. It's dramatic. So much drama. I really, really like it. I rated this a 10 out of 10. Yeah. I rated it a 10 out of 10 because this started my book journey. It started my like little spark in me that was like, oh my gosh, I want to keep reading. I love all the characters in this. I'm so, so excited for the movie because I think it's coming out in 2024, which is this year. So I'm really excited. I loved every bit of it. Um, it's definitely like a sensitive read. There's some sensitive topics in this, but I really liked it. Going into the next book in that series is It Starts With Us. I also really liked this book. I will say that it just like... I really liked the book. It was just very slow in my opinion. Definitely, I don't know how to say it without like giving a spoiler. But, I mean, I really liked it. It was just definitely a bit slower and not as, like, dramatic. Like, there wasn't a lot of drama in it, like, at all, I don't think. So, I rated this a 7 out of 10 just because it was a little boring. But also, like, uh, I don't know how to say it without spoiling the book. Just a good second and last book to the series. Okay, so the next book I'm going to go into was one of my most favorite books of Colleen Hoover ever and that is Ugly Love. I love this book so much. I think I love this book way more than I loved It Ends With Us which is hard to believe because I gave that book a 10 out of 10. This is like an 11 out of 10 I swear. It is just the perfect amount of drama and it's kind of just based around a book where you know the guy isn't ready to date or doesn't want to date because he's 
you know going through stuff and she just like gets hooked on him and really loves him but he's like no i can't date whatever it's that kind of book and i really really like it a lot i feel like i never got bored with it it was very fast paced and just she did a really good job of writing this book and keeping the story along and i really like how it ended too it was such a plot twist at the end like you think it's just like an innocent romance and then it's just like boom like a huge plot twist um so i really liked it and i rated it an 11 out of 10 but also to kind of go into the next book um this book and november 9 are the same like universe i guess you can say um there's a couple characters in this book that shows up in this book so i really liked how she did that because these books are like not related at all they just have a couple characters in this book that end up being like a very small scene in this book but still the same universe and i think that's really cool november 9 i really really like it's such a good book it kept me on my toes the entire time there was like zero boring parts like i really really liked it it was definitely like the boy chasing the girl and long distance and many years go by in this book but it's just so 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 good so the per perfect amount of drama too i i think it was perfect but i really liked it i rated this an 8 out of 10 just because you know it's a bit shorter i felt like the story could have gone longer i wanted it to because i loved the book so much but it was definitely a quick read. I read it I think in like three days because I was hooked on it and I think that says a lot about a book if you can read it and like just not put it down. Um, so yeah, I really like this book. So I have been saying a lot of positive reviews about all the books so far. One review that I want to give about a Colin Hoover book that I didn't not necessarily hate i definitely didn't hate it i liked it a lot i just didn't really love it i kind of got bored throughout the entire book honestly and that is reminders of him um i rated this a six out of ten so not the best rating but it also wasn't horrible i mean it's a decent read it i guess it was just really hard for me to connect with the characters and all of that but it was also really dramatic and really um it was it made me cry i mean that is a good sign it genuinely brought me to tears so it was a sad book like some happy crying some sad crying but it was definitely not one of my favorite reads like i wasn't interested in it the entire way through and there was definitely some good chapters and some things that really hooked me, but yeah, I would give it a 6 out of 10. Um, I would recommend it, but definitely not like a book that I'm like going to say you absolutely need to read this. So, Okay, so moving along to a book series that I wish I could reread. Like these books, I genuinely... I think in a couple years will reread because I loved it so much. I totally jumped into the universe when I read all of these books. There's three of them by Colleen Hoover and it's the Maybe Someday books. So there's three of them. The third one is obviously like a hundred pages. It's barely a book but really good. I'm gonna start with the first one, Maybe Someday loved it so much i think i read this entire series in like just a few weeks because i i had to pace myself i literally had to put it down and be like this is too good i don't want it to end so i have to wait until tomorrow to read because i don't want to read it all in like one day so this book so 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 amazing i i love it i love how it ends i just oh my gosh i cannot say any like bad things about these books and this book in particular um the second book maybe now i also really liked it's a bit bigger than the first book i really liked this because it kind of dove into instead of just the two main characters it 
dove into other characters in the book's perspective and I really really liked that so I really also like this book because of that um something about Colleen Hoover that I really like is that she likes to do this thing where each chapter is a different perspective so the first chapter is the girl's perspective the second chapter is the boy's perspective things like that and I actually really like that a lot because I get to see both sides of things the third book is maybe not again super super short but this one I think was more of like a filler book kind of without giving spoilers it just is like nothing goes wrong in it it's just like a extra little read if you want to go back into the universe of these two books and I really liked it it was just like a fun little like blurb like I really liked it um I am pretty sure that you read maybe someday maybe not and then maybe now I think but I read it as this one last um and not in the middle of those other two books so I would recommend to read it in that order so to reiterate maybe someday maybe now and then read maybe not I know that's not necessarily the order but I think I appreciated this book a lot more because I've already read the first two books oh before I forget I rate that series probably like a 9 out of 10 really really liked it Last but not least, I'm going to go over three more books that are not Colleen Hoover um, that I read last year. And the first book is The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager, I believe is how you pronounce it. This book I read during Halloween because I wanted a scarier kind of book, which is so weird. But I just wanted like something that would kind of keep me on my toes the entire time. It's considered a psychological thriller so I really liked it a lot I rated it a 6 out of 10 I didn't really love it but I didn't hate it it was kind of like the plot twist at the end to kind of explain what's been going on in the book just seemed like a stretch to me like it just didn't really make a lot of sense uh, this book is not necessarily like supernatural but it kind of gives off the sense as it is and I I don't really I don't want to read books that are like supernatural or anything like that so I was kind of I was just kind of like weirded out I guess by the plot twist like I didn't really understand it felt like a stretch to me yeah I didn't, I didn't really care about this book I probably like I would recommend it I've recommended it to like my cousin and my roommate but I mean, I would still recommend it, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's like my favorite or one of the better books I've read. We're almost done, I swear. Uh, the next book that I'm actually currently reading right now, but I started it in 2023, is The Hunger Games book. This is the new book, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. It's so far, I just love the Hunger Games series. I've read all the books so far and I love how accurate they are to the movies how descriptive they are I really like Suzanne Collins as an author too she's really really good this book is you know definitely a read I think it's like 500 something pages so definitely a more lengthier book I made the mistake of watching the movie and then reading this I think because the movie and the book is so similar I just think like I kind of already know what happens so definitely don't recommend that but this movie's been out for a while so I'm sure you've seen it but just be, be prepared that this book is so similar to the movie so you're basically just re-watching the movie and that kind of ruined the fun out of it but I just wanted to see the movie so bad so yeah but I only have like a few chapters left that's my bookmark so that's how much I have left which is not a lot but definitely a big book and a lot of reading and a lot of paying attention to characters the names of characters like how they kind of relate to the actual hunger games books like katniss and Peeta. so yeah definitely a lot of like paying attention it's not a light read at all so 
but I would recommend it. I really, really would. I would recommend the Hunger Games series, like, to everybody. I rated this an 8 out of 10, so... I loved it. The last and final book I'm gonna recommend is Atomic Habits by James Clear. My dad actually recommended this book to me and bought this book for me. I really liked it. It's more, you know, it's not, um, it's a self-help book. So it, it's kind of, you know, things you want to apply to your own life and how to make good habits, how to get rid of bad habits, and how to stick to them. I really really like this book. I took a lot of things out of this book and put it into my personal life. I feel like in the beginning of my reading era, <laughs> if you will, I read a lot of self-help books because I kind of thought like, oh those are the only books I'm gonna like. And then I got really bored of them and so I started reading, you know, like Colleen Hoover and I got hooked on those type of books. and. I took a break from those books and read Atomic Habits and I really appreciated it. I thought it was really good, very, very helpful, and I would definitely recommend this even if you're not like a self-help book kind of person, I would still recommend this. I think it's really good and not like a huge read at all. It's a pretty short book but very helpful. I am pretty sure I read a chapter a day and yeah i just try to be really mindful i took a couple notes in the book because that's what i like to do with self-help books is to take notes in the book kind of just make sure i remember and i can briefly like go back and read my notes and everything so yeah okay so that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys liked it and i hope that you know it was helpful even though i couldn't give spoilers um i just i always want to watch book review videos on youtube but never do because i'm so scared of spoilers so i hope this is still helpful even though i didn't really talk too much about what's actually in the book but yeah i hope you guys liked it and thank you so much for watching this video make sure you subscribe and comment down below what your favorite book is because i'm always down to read new books from new authors any type of book i'm want to be into so Please tell me your recommendations below. I love you guys and thank you for watching. Bye.